So yesterday I was supposed to have an appointment. I was so busy trying to come up with a way to move my vehicle because I ran out of gas. I didn't even realize it was Tuesday. Now it's Wednesday. Somebody did send me some money so I have gas in my vehicle. Fact is, all the things that were done to me, nobody gave a fuck about. They wouldn't make a report, wouldn't go in with me to make a report. Just excuse after excuse after excuse. Now maybe they're valid reasons. But I'm not going to call them valid reasons, because every time I have a valid reason, it gets called an excuse. Now, most of these people didn't keep their word. Katie Cahill didn't keep her word. Carmia didn't keep her word. Shelly didn't keep her word. Danica did not keep her word. Shannon didn't keep her word. Now, that's not to say that Shannon didn't try. It's not to say she didn't make any effort. It's just difficult to get anything done when you're drunk. She sleeps in until about 10 or 11 every day, which I'm not judging. I'm just saying. When she's that busy sleeping and she's up all night drinking, I basically have to try to find a time when either she's not there or uh, she's not drunk in order to get some work done. Everything that was done to prevent me from having a voice. That's exactly what was going on. Every step of the way. Everybody worked together to prevent me from being able to speak. To prevent me from being able to speak in court where it matters. To prevent me from going to court where it matters. The police refused to take a report from me repeatedly. For an entire fucking year before Natalie was killed. They refused to take a report from me, telling me I just needed to man up. While people are assaulting me, people are threatening my life. The only way for me to get an honest day in court was to be able to go to civil court. The police knew this and the Bollingers knew this, and they coordinated together to make sure that I couldn't. Using illegal means to do so. But it's fine, right? Because those court dates are behind me. I should be able to just let it go. No, they took all of my money. They separated me from all of my friends and family. They absolutely refused to take my report. Absolutely refused. They thought I was guilty. Before they found Joseph Lopez, these people thought that I was guilty. So they did everything in their power to try to frame me for things I didn't do. Because they wanted to be the one to catch the crazy dude who kills little girls. Meanwhile, I cannot defend myself against these people because I was not allowed to make a report. I was not allowed to defend myself in court. Your just let it go doesn't fix my back. It doesn't get me my money back. It doesn't make it so I can see my loved ones. I get overwhelmed and I stream at everybody now. Nobody who said they'd help paid any goddamn attention to what was going on. Like Todd, for example. Right after the assault, I was at his place, trying to explain to him what was going on. He kept screaming at me, nobody cares, because he's fucked up on ketamine. Screaming at his girlfriend, treating her like shit. Ex-girlfriend now. I help people the best I can, but I need help too.
Most of the help I was able to provide for people wasn't monetary. It was just that I knew people. I knew people who could help. But when you're accused of the shit that I was accused of, and you don't get an honest day in court, people do whatever the fuck they want. Including the police. All of these people did shit that was wrong. It's no wonder they fucking blocked me and ran away. <sighs> Maybe they should have found out what was going on instead of being an asshole to me for streaming on Facebook. I'm streaming it on Facebook because there's no place for me to fucking document it that somebody will listen. At least on Facebook it's documented. At least on YouTube it's documented. A lot of people, thousands of people, assumed my guilt based on what the fucking media posted. Based on what people like Mike Boudet of Sword and Scale put up. What these people did is illegal. But I can't get a police officer to take my report unless someone goes in with me. They use mentally ill as an excuse not to. They pretend that I'm trying to kill myself when I'm not. I'm screaming at the top of my lungs for fucking help from the goddamn cops. Fucking document this shit. But they won't. They pulled every trick that they could to prevent me from doing that. When I was supposed to go in to talk to Amanda Jonas, you know what I was supposed to talk to her about? The assault by officers and hospital staff at the Longmont Hospital. The hospital staff, just like a lot of people, want to assume that the cops are right. The cops are completely wrong in what they did. But it's alright. Because Natalie's dead and it must be my fault, correct? Fuck you.